What's going on everyone? You're watching the Iron Gordon channel. Thank you for being here. Today, I'm going to hand letter Lily onto this 1968 VW Bug glove box. Let's get in the project. To start things off, I like to draw everything with a white stabilo. It's a nice water soluble pencil that I can make easy corrections to if I need to and then I can paint right over once I start painting. Now coming in with a horrible camera angle, some yellow one shot and my extra large MAC brush, I'm going to start laying down the background fill of the lettering. I'm intentionally make these letters a little bit wider than they need to be because I want to do an infill effect on it later and I'm going to need the space to create that. Using a Kafka number no. 4 liner brush and some white one shot, I start outlining the lilies and then I continue to fill in the lilies with that brush. Looking back at it now, I probably should have used a fatter brush to fill it, but that's just the way it happened. Once my yellow had dried, I came in with an orange and I started doing my infill effect. On this effect, I went raggedy on one edge and it just kind of fades into a stippling effect. It just creates a little bit more visual interest inside the letters. I wanted to create a drop shadow on this lettering, so I came in with some maroon one shot and a zero Kafka brush just to cut in a quick little drop shadow. Okay, so some lilies have an orange and red speckling on the inside of them, and that's what the client wanted in the final product, so I thought that was a perfect application to use this airbrush I just recently picked up. It's all water-based acrylic paints, and I have it set at a setting that makes it a little bit more spattery than necessarily like a smooth airbrush type finish. Using a Kafka Zero and some light gray one shot, I'm going to outline the lilies in this light gray just to keep it a little bit softer than a dark black outline. I throw in a couple extra quick little details just to wrap this thing up. If stuff like this interests you, please don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know if I whenever I upload a video. I've got a lot of footage left over from 2020 that I've yet to make a video for, a couple helmets, a couple guitars, a couple other wood cutout paintings type things. Amazon links to everything I'm using in the video are in the description below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll try later next time.